planet hopping all night long. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regas, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. For you planet lovers out there, we have a treat for you this week. That's right, James. Earth is in just the perfect spot this week where you'll be able to see bright planets all across the sky, no matter what time you go outside. And one of those planets is going to be nearing opposition in just a few weeks, and it'll be bigger and brighter than it's been in years. What are we talking about? Let's show you. Okay, we have our skies set for just after sunset facing west, anytime next week. The first planet you'll spot is the king of the planets, Jupiter. You can find Jupiter by using the stars of Orion. Take Orion's ankle star, Rigel, draw a line through the belt stars to his shoulder star, Betelgeuse, and you'll land smack dab on the stars of the Gemini twins. Jupiter is the bright white light amid the stars of Gemini. The way you can tell that this bright light is a planet is that it won't be twinkling like the nearby stars, Castor and Pollux. Plus, if you pay attention to Jupiter's position night after night, you'll notice that Jupiter is slowly moving through this constellation. And next year this time, it will be in the constellation of Cancer the Crab. If you have a telescope, you'll definitely want to check out Jupiter, because even with the smallest and least expensive telescope, you'll be able to see four of Jupiter's moons. These would be Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The next planet in our parade is the red planet Mars. At the same time you're outside looking at Jupiter, swing yourself around 180 degrees and face east, and you'll see bright reddish Mars rising among the stars of Virgo the Maiden. Mars is in a great position right now because just last week, Mars was at opposition, and therefore Mars is closer to us now than it will be for the next two years. Also, Mars will form a neat little triangle in the sky with the bright blue star Spica, the brightest star in Virgo the Maiden, and the bright orange star Arcturus, the brightest star in Boötes the Herdsman. To find Arcturus, simply look toward the northeast and take the three stars marking the handle of the Big Dipper and trace an arc away from the Dipper's bowl and you'll land right on Arcturus. We call this trick arcing to Arcturus. Speaking of planets in opposition, we have another planet that's going to be close to us soon. On Mother's Day weekend this year, my mom's favorite planet will actually be at its closest to us for the year. Let's advance time to about 11 p.m. your local time. And if you look toward the east, you'll see the ringed planet Saturn among the stars of Libra, the scales. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. And over the next few weeks, you'll get some tremendous views of the planet's rings. Saturn is tilted at such an angle that its rings will make it appear the brightest it's been since 2007. And for you Triangle fans, Saturn will form an even bigger and brighter triangle with Mars and Arcturus. So, if you're a fan of three-sided planet-made polygons, this will definitely be the night for you. Let's see, so that's Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. I think we have one more planet in our lineup tonight. That's right. If you're an early bird like James, go outside about an hour before sunrise and look toward the east. There you'll find our sister planet, brilliant Venus. In the latter part of next week, the waning crescent moon will have two close encounters with Venus. On the morning of Friday, April 25th, you'll see a slender crescent moon up and to the right of Venus. And then on the morning of Saturday, April 26th, the moon will be down and to the left of Venus. Both views will be stunning, so make sure you get outside those mornings to check it out. So, there you have it. From sunset to sunrise, you have a perfect plethora of planets for your pleasure. At sunset, we have Jupiter visible in the west and Mars visible in the east. And at sunrise, we have Venus visible in the east and Saturn visible in the west. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.